For nearly four months now, Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville has been blocking hundreds of military promotions over his objections to a Pentagon policy covering the travel costs for service members getting abortions. About 40 percent of women on active duty already have either limited or no access at all to abortion care, according to the Rand Corporation. And the top U.S. military leaders are warning that Senator Tuberville's blockade is having a real-life impact. It's my concern there is future retention. Because we have our more junior officers who now will look up and say, uh, if that's the challenge that we have to deal with in the future, uh, I may not want to, I'm going to balance between my family and serving in a senior position. And we will lose talent uh, uh, because of uh, those, those challenges. It's been more than a century since the U.S. Marine Corps has operated without a Senate-confirmed commandant. Smooth and timely transitions of confirmed leadership are central to the defense of the United States. Joining me now is Democratic Congresswoman and former Navy pilot Mikey Sherrill of New Jersey. So, Congresswoman, I want to play for you. Republican Senator Tom Tillis, just back from the NATO summit, was asked about this holdup. I think his reaction is notable here. Listen to this. I met a colonel who's held up by that, somebody who's literally on the front lines. There are a number of examples of that. So I think the blanket hold is problematic. But make no mistake, I'm against the same policy that uh, Senator Tuberville is. Uh, so you have Senator Tillis there, Secretary Austin, and General Brown all laying out the potential costs of this. What do you see as the potential solution here? Well, certainly, I think the Senate has to act and move with alacrity to um, unstick these promotions. I, too, have heard from people throughout the world uh, who are being held up in our military, families who can't get home to determine where their kids are going to start school next year. And it even starts to, the longer it goes on, it starts to impact the ability of people to perform uh, and meet the wickets of the jobs they need to do to get to the next bracket. So it's certainly going to have huge retention impacts. And as people make these decisions, they're basing them on the future. You know, is this really good for my family? It's not just about military readiness. It's all about service members and what they're doing for their families. And to do this, because he wants to impose, Tuberville wants to impose his own extremist views on service women and military families is really unconscionable. Right now, we have women serving across the country who have no access to quality reproductive health services. And we know this because women in Texas, um, like Anna Zargarian and Lauren Miller, are suing the state of Texas because they almost died with lack of access mm -hmm to reproductive health care services, lack of access to abortion. So what the DOD has done is simply provide women leave, provide them the ability to travel so they can receive that quality health care. Um, and, and for Tuberville to hold up these promotions is not only harming our service women, our military families, but it's certainly harming readiness. Well, I mean, you talk about the retention issues. It's not just for these officers who aren't getting their promotions. It's potentially also for these women who might look around and say, you know what, I could go work in the private sector where one guy from Alabama can't make decisions about the kind of health care I can get. Um, I, I'm curious, you know, it's always interesting to ask House people to weigh in on Senate procedure here, but I wonder, you know, the Senate could vote on all of these posts. They could go one at a time through some of these most critical posts. Is the value in getting some of these top officials confirmed outweigh the concern that you're basically endorsing the use of this tactic in the future? What would your uh, prescription be if you were uh, Senator Cheryl. This tactic is ridiculous. We're looking at one member of the Senate representing a state that has, I think, approximately 1.5 percent of the voting population in the United States of America holding up all of our flag officer promotions. This is absolutely ridiculous. And it is something that the Senate could fix. And yes, it is always interesting. It's interesting slash you probably know what you're going to get from a House member weighing in on the Senate inefficiency. But I would just remind people, too, that we are now talking about women who are not just service women. 
but the families of service members who are stationed mm -hmm. in places like Texas, which has about 120,000 active duty service members. Imagine that you have a high risk pregnancy in Texas right now. We've seen from court case after court case after court case that your life is in danger in that state. And so the fact is we simply want to protect service women, protect military families, and the extremist agenda of people like Senator Tuberville are really imperiling that effort. Yeah, my, my home state of Texas, I follow those cases pretty closely. Uh, I, I, on the subject of abortion, I mean, this has become the, I feel like the political issue in this country in so many ways. Iowa has now just passed a six-week abortion ban. They're the 16th state to restrict abortion. It's 16 weeks or less. Um, talk to me about what you see the reaction from women, how big of an issue do you think this will be in the upcoming election? Will it be as big as it was in the last election? You know, I think that's where we are seeing this headed. As you see these extremist legislatures legislating against the will of the people, what we see time after time is when it's left up to these, you know, very right-leaning legislatures, they will vote in these draconian abortion laws. And yet, when it's on the ballot, when it's left up to the people again and again and again, they, re you know, they really support abortion rights. So I think this mismatch is going to be felt at the ballot. Box, even into the next election, certainly. It's going to be very interesting to watch. Uh, Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill, thank you for your expertise on these issues. I appreciate your time.